Good morning. How are you? Happy Thursday, everybody. <clears throat> My throat is not doing so well. Again, every time I talk, I have been doing this video now. I was just as like my third attempt to do it. Something seems to be happening with my phone, but it's okay. Hopefully now I got it fixed. I'm doing a review today on the Joffrey's, and I wanted to try this coffee first. The Joffrey's Disney Organic Peru Alto Mayo. This is the 11 ounce bags that they sell. Again, from Joffrey's. The flavor is <clears throat> Fresh aroma of vanilla and roasted almond, rich with notes of dark chocolate. Well, let me tell you something. I've been standing here now in my Haunted Mansion cup. Yes, it is Halloween for me and Halloween for Disney. Um, I have been savoring this flavor. This is the first one I really wanted to try. And thank you again so much to Miss Kay out there for sending me an array of flavors to try and I am doing that and we're starting now with this one. I really had my heart set on this one. I, I don't know. I just it attracted me. The package attracted me. Okay, the color purple, yeah, okay, fine. But I could I can actually easily say that too. But anyway, I testing out the coffee. I am getting I am getting those flavors. A hint of vanilla, yes I am. Every so often you will get it. It's not there all the time, but you will get it. The notes of the dark chocolate, I am grateful to say yes, I am tasting that in this flavor coffee. If you just take a small sip of it and let it rest on your tongue, you will get that flavor. As opposed to the Joffrey's 50th anniversary Disney blend that I wasn't getting any hints of blueberry at all. But this, I want to say definitely. I'm very excited for this because this, I really had my heart set on this one. Mm. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. <clears throat> this is a keeper. Definitely. This gets a thumbs up. Absolutely. You know what? I think it gets two ears up. How's that for Disney coffee? We'll put we'll put two ears up for that. Two two Mickey Mouse ears. How's that sound? Being that it's Joffrey's Disney. Very good. I am getting that. I am getting that. That flavor. Oh. Um, here they have the official special um, official specialty coffee of Disney World Resorts. They give the little story about that. I like on the side here it gives you brew masterfully. It gives you the instructions on how to do it with filtered water. And if you want to do with uh, two tablespoons for every six ounces of water. So I guess you're doing that for a, I would consider a pot of coffee. I still don't have my carafe. It's, you know, I didn't get a new one because I broke the last one. That was the second one that I broke. Anyway, I didn't break it. It just cracked. But again, I just want to say definitely two Mickey ears up for this. Okay. Now we're gonna take that, we're gonna move on. I did purchase, um, this, is, this is a video of reviews, I guess. I did purchase some body products from Primark yesterday. I went to Primark, just, just walked around. I did have my heart set on a certain thing that I seen the other day when I was at Primark. So I said, you know what, let me go in now and grab it. And I wanted to try their body products, like uh, not lotions, right? just skin products in general. Um, as you know, like the other day, I purchased the facial scrubber. It is a two-sided, forgive that, because I have some soap in there. It is a two-sided facial scrubber, you know? So I tried these things out yesterday when I was in the shower. I feel a little bit more rejuvenated than usual just by using just regular soap. Um, what I did was, and this is a very generous size for this, for this price. I want to say this is good. And this is the PS brand, Primark store. I guess I'm saying Primark store. That's PS. I, you know what? I need to contact them because I want to find out what PS stands for. I think that's a good idea to do. Um, PS vanilla and brown sugar exfoliate and cleanse body scrub. This size is in 16 fluid ounce. This is a, this is a pretty generous size container. I just want to say that. I mean, it fits your whole hand. And the price of this for 16 fluid ounces is $4.50. 
Now you can't go wrong with that. So I says, okay, for $4.50, even though I like Primark, I like their products. Let me just purchase this and take this home. And it is from when you open up this cap, you are getting that smell of vanilla and brown sugar. I mean, it's, it smells delicious. I mean, it really does. And this is the this is the context of it inside. It really, really is. It, they, it's a generous amount. It's not watery at all. The flavor is not weak. You absolutely smell it. Well, I want you to know something. It is amazing. I needed a body scrub for myself because, you know, I've been getting a lot of sun outside. As you can see, I'm still, I'm still with the sun. Um, Right now, it's not going to be too good weather, so I'm not going to go out in the sun today. I was hoping to do it sometime on the weekend or maybe Monday. And I think Monday would technically, I want to say, would maybe be like one of my last times to go in the sun. I've had a pretty good sun this summer. I really have. And the pool has been wonderful. And it's been wonderful for my back, although it doesn't last long. Anyway, vanilla and brown sugar. The scrub is wonderful. P.S. Brand. Now, I also purchased with that, I purchased a pair of their um, Primark exfoliating gloves. Now, the funny thing about this is that, you know, I have tattoos. So when you have tattoos, and the thing to have tattoos is to not use anything abrasive on your skin because you, you know, you could damage the ink on the on the skin okay I've had tattoos for a long long time now I'm 50 I'll be 56 I've had tattoos since I was 30 so that's a long time to have and my first tattoo by the way was Tinkerbell and two years later was my name Tinkerella which is branded on me so you know you do have to be careful with with that kind of thing. But I did buy a pair of exfoliating gloves. Now, what I really wanted to use these for was my elbows, my knees, my legs, and my heels of my feet. Because those seem to be right now my problem areas. And my skin, I want to say, was, was very dry. Well, right now with the exfoliating, just a light, you don't have to, just a light, you know, washing. What I did was I used the uh, exfoliating scrub first. With that, I put a little bit just on my hand just to work it in. And you work up a lot. By the way, it's good for my hands too. It really, it really is. And you put a little bit in your hands, and you just want to just rub gently, just gently, your knees. Now, what I did was I took the exfoliating gloves. By the way, they do have them in, like, they do have Disney. They have Stitch. They have Winnie the Pooh. They have Mickey. I wanted a grown-up pair of exfoliating gloves right now. So these are them. They are wonderful. They are, they are very heavy, let me tell you. They really are. They are heavy. They are comfortable to wear. You know, just like a regular pair of gloves, if you guys aren't into that. I like to wear it because... It's just comfortable for me. So I put the both of them on. You want to just very carefully smooth yourself in those areas. Um, those are my problem areas. My knees, my heels, and my elbows, and my hands. Um, I didn't use the exfoliator with the gloves. That You don't want to do that because, first of all, there's gra it's granulated anyway. Because you're getting the specks of the brown sugar. So you really don't want to use this and then rub with this because to me that's kind of that's like toothy you will damage your skin you'll you'll scratch the crap out of it but what i did was i exfoliated my areas first and then what i did was i you know you rinse these out real good you know um i just took my regular bar of soap and i lathered my gloves up both my gloves and i just went over my areas and then from there just very lightly just go along your arms, especially if you have tattoos. Remember, don't, you know, you do not want to damage your tattoos. And I just very lightly just went over just once around with the soap. And then I rinsed. And it left my skin very smooth today. And then, you know, of course, if you get out of the shower, you can, you know, when you dry off real good, you can apply whatever lotions that you need to. Um, 
I don't have any on me, but what I wish that I had was baby oil. I, I, I should have some baby oil in the house, but I don't. You know me, I have all my Bath and Body Works products and, you know, I have all my other lotions and potions. But no, baby oil I didn't have. I think baby oil would have been, would have been good for this, for this, um, this treatment right here. But anyway, I do. I feel, I feel good today. The skin is good. I do have, as you can see, kind of like a, a smoothness texture. Um, it also, re you know, it, could also remove your dead skin you know like me I had some flakiness from the skin because the sunburn is starting to you know starting to peel and then I used the facial scrub in the shower what I did was I lathered myself up with the soap uh, at this time you take the gloves so I wouldn't I wouldn't use the gloves with your face that that I wouldn't do that's that's too abrasive uh, these are very, 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 very soft bristles, as you can see. And then you have the massage. I call it a massager. I like to use this for my chin, especially my chin. And then I just go over it nice and easy. Lather yourself up. Just go over your face. I usually do circles. I like to do circles and make sure you get all your areas. Now, because I have a nose pierce, what I usually do with the nose pierce, because I don't want it to fall out, I usually hold, forgive my finger, but my hands are clean, but I usually hold my piercing, because this way I keep the ear, you know, the pierce in place, and then I just gently go over it with the brush over my nose area. So I guess we all have our ways, we all find our ways, but you know, when you're tattooed and pierced, you want to be careful with these things. You know, these things are an investment. So <laughs> it's a lot of money spent on, on ink and piercings. So I would recommend this brush also. This was $2 at Primark. The gloves, which are awesome, were also $2. And the exfoliating vanilla and brown sugar scrub, which was $4.50. I mean... Like what, under $10 to four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, what, $12 to make your body feel better? You know, it's just a little home treatment instead of going, you know, many people go to spas, many people get massages, I get that. Um, me, I have my pool for my back, and then right now I have all my skincare products for home. And doesn't cost very much. I'm fine with it. I love every product. I love every product from Primark anyway, but just because I like it doesn't mean that somebody else is going to like it. So I'm just telling you that if you are near the Primark store or if even if you want to do a scrub, I don't have anything else to compare this to. I'm sure there are over-the-counter other store scrubs that you, that you would like. I know St. Ives. There's a company called St. Ives. They also make lotions and stuff. You can get those at your local um, uh, Rite Aid, Walgreens, CVS, you know, things like that. But this scrub, I, I'm i happy with. I I just do. I love this, and I love the coffee from Joffrey's, and right now I'm doing two for two here, so I'm having a good day with this stuff, you know? My body feels okay, except for the back, but that's all right. My body feels okay, my skin is smooth, and I'm enjoying delicious flavored coffee with actual flavor in it, so... <laughs> So I'm happy about it. And um, yeah, that's going to be my day. So I'm just going to hang out here. Again, I would like to do some things. I don't know. I don't know. T minus 11. T minus 11. We get it. I mean, next week we're going to be in the single digits. That's going to be a nightmare for me. It's always like the last nine days that's going to be like, <laughs> but um, yeah, we're going to get through it. We're going to get through it. All right, people, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for interacting and enjoying and watching the other video, which I did yesterday. Um, thank you so much for all your comments. Whoever left a comment, thank you. I try to get to you as, as fast as I can. As a matter of fact, I was in Primark when the comments started rolling in. So as I was answering you, I was standing in the middle of Primark. But that's okay. I can answer you as best way I can. And I will always answer, answer you. Um, nobody ever has to be nasty or anything. You, you leave your opinion. Your opinion is solely your opinion. I, have, I respect that. Absolutely, I respect it. If there's cursing or anything, you will have to be demolished and diminished. I, I will have to 
replenish you from my <laughs> from my page for doing that. Um, and I think YouTube is doing an amazing job with actually uh, controlling that as well. Because sometimes they actually get to a comment, to be honest with you, they actually get to a comment before I do, and they make that comment disappear. But then I can see that comment on my YouTube studio. So that's pretty cool. And thank you so much to YouTube for that. I do have some new subscribers. Hi and welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I'm just me. It's nothing special. I'm just me. I just talk to you about my days and products that I like. If I like them, maybe you like them. Nothing is forced on anybody. <clears throat> if you want to give it a shot, that's fine. Um, I was in Hot Topic yesterday. And Hot Topic has a, a Mickey Halloween cup. It is an adorable cup. It's an adorable Kind of reminds you of a cup that you would see on Etsy. And it even has the straw with the Mickey, the Mickey head on the straw. It's an adorable cup. Um, they want like $16.95 for it. I went to my Hot Topic. Now, I've been noticing lately with stores... I've been noticing lately with stores, I go in and I ask for something, and it's kind of sad that some of the workers do not even know what the hell I'm talking about. I've experienced this so far for the last two weeks and three different stores. One of the other stores happens to be the Lego store, which I had educated the other two ladies that work there, and they were actually thankful to me for doing that because now that they can take that information and give it to their other customers that walk in asking for the same thing that I was. And, um, yeah. It's, I, I don't understand what's going on. Either that or just people just don't really seem to care anymore about their jobs and the way they're being treated and I do see that I do see that it's it's happening all all over the place everywhere people just don't feel appreciated anymore they work at a job and they just they just go through the motions that's said hopefully maybe one day we can actually get that back you need to work at that you know I think companies need to understand their employers and they you know they, they need to see what is happening on the floor. They need to see what is happening. They need to address people's feelings and their concerns. I think so. And I'm seeing that more and more. So uh, Hot Topic, I went into Hot Topic to get uh, to look for the cup. <clears throat> and the two workers did not understand what I was talking about. And I had to pull it up from Hot Topic online because they didn't even have it there available. So I said, this is the cup. She says, oh, well, if, it, if we had it, which we, I don't think we do. You don't think you do? If we have it, it's over here with the Disney Halloween stuff. And they really don't have that much Disney Halloween stuff, I'll be honest with you. They have more of it online than they would at the store. Although I can order it online and have it shipped to my store. That's also a possibility. I don't know. I got to think about that. I don't have much time to play around with that either, so... I have a trip coming up. <laughs> Anyhow, and the second thing was the Lego store. And my husband was looking for a particular new item that's going to be coming out as far as, and I gave the release date for it. And the two ladies says, this is good. I walked in and I asked, do you have this product? She says, no. One said no. The other one says, no, no, we don't have that. It's like she didn't know. And I says, well, you're saying it that way. I said, I don't mean to question you, but do you ever know of a product coming out that way? Because I do. So she says, no, I really, she says, I, I didn't know anything about it. You work there. Does your company not tell you of the new products? That, are you not aware of the new products that's coming out on the line? Or is it just that, you know, again, you're just going through the motions. Okay, fine. I walked out of the store and I pulled up on my phone standing outside the store because it wouldn't be me if I didn't want to educate someone or actually have proof that something is real. So I said to one of the ladies before I walked out of the store, I says, well, a person that I know, I says, already has the product. I said, it's in the testing phase, phases before the release. She says, that's impossible. That's illegal. I says, 
no problem. That's when I walked out of the store using my phone. Pulled up the actual video of a person that is testing the product. He got the product and he's testing it out on the video. You know, because, you know, if you're sponsored like like you guys do with the lounge fly and all the bags and sometimes you guys get um uh you guys know of a release before it's being released and you you know you, and that's great because that's how these companies are actually doing they're advertising now i get it um which is cool because the person actually gets the box he gets to put it together and he's showing the video and the release date of when it's going to be coming out so i had that video pulled up walked back into the store because it wouldn't be me if i didn't do this it just, it's just, I keep true to who I am. Not to say, ha, here it is. I didn't do that. I says, um, ma'am, I says, this is the person that I know. I says, and this is the video. And I showed her the, the two of them. Now the other one comes over and she's looking. She says, what the hell is that? I says, this is the new product that is coming out. I says, by the way, it's also going to be released on September 1st, just so that you guys know. You're welcome. <laughs> So they're looking, she says, oh, that's very nice. She says, oh, no, we, I didn't know anything about that. I, you know, I don't mean to put you down, but you work here. You know, okay, some people, again, they just go to work. They don't, just going through the motions. That's basically what they're doing. A lot of companies, a lot of people that work for companies are now doing this. And it's sad. Anywho, so I educated them on that. So my husband's after a certain piece now with that. But I says, you know what? It's 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 going to be released on September 1st. I says, you know, we're leaving September 6th. You have no time for this foolishness. We have a trip coming up, and, you know. It's, whether it's going to be sold out or not. It'll probably be at the Lego store down in Florida. But who the hell wants to drag that up on the plane coming home? I certainly don't. I mean, only thing I'm after down there again, like I said to you, was the popcorn buckets. So we will see. We shall see. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for all your interactions. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed my review on my Joffrey's Coffee. If you get this, if you see this anywhere, pick this up. I understand that Marshall's, uh, Marshall stores carry Joffrey's Coffee. So you may want to just trek on over there if you can. Um, maybe you can even go online and do it. I mean, if you, if me, I want to deal with stores. I just want to go into a store and buy some. I don't want to deal with online. I want to see it in the store. Such as that freaking cup at, at Hot Topic, which nobody knew what I was talking about. But anyhow, and this is that. So, and the body scrub. My skin feels good today. And there's flavor in my coffee. What more can I ask for? And now the sun is shining. Go up. Three for three. <laughs> three for three. It may rain later, though. Three for three. I'll take it as it comes. All right, people. Thank you again. Happy, happy Friday. God bless you all. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.